Don, how do you enjoy working with it? It's easy to clean because it like sifts. You know, you scoop it up and it like sifts out good. So it, there's not a lot of waste of it. And how often do you have to clean it? Every morning. Just the poop? And no, the poop. And the feet. We got the wet spot out too. You do? Okay. And how are the horses responding to it? I don't think they really have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> are they sleeping better? I mean... Ours are... We have no problem with them. You know, they, they'll lie down in it. They, you know, they don't care. You know, because I've been hearing from others that... Uh, you know, it's minimized some respiratory problems with some of the horses, and they oh, have it's, it's better sleep. Hmm? It's, it's not, not as dusty as, like, the shavings or yeah. the pelleted bedding. Right. The pelleted bedding gets really dusty after it, it's in there for a couple of days. I didn't know that. You know, because it gets it ground. becomes powder. Oh. The pelleted bedding becomes, like, powdery. Did, um, okay. And how... Tell me some of the other benefits. I mean, because I have just, I've been working. It composts working. really well. Snoop. Oh, Fruit. Snooper. Hello, Snooper. You want your picture taken? He wants to jump up. <laughs> He's so beautiful. He's like, I'm really dirty. Okay. So share with me how you join the hemp trail. I mean. Trying how... to find dust-free bedding. Oh. You know, oh. that's. We've tried just about everything. Oh, we have tried everything. We, we've tried, was it? We, years ago, they had Strufex, which was not familiar. pelleted straw. I mean, they put, they made the straw into pellets? Mm -hmm. that, was, that was pretty absorbent, but it got, again, at the end, it got dusty. Okay. Um, we've, it, tr we've tried cardboard. You mean shredded cardboard? Yes. <laughs> Yes, that was not a positive experience. And then, I mean... Now, it was dust-free, and that's the only good thing I can say about it. Yeah, it was harder to clean. Harder to clean. Because it came in, like, these little squares, so it didn't, like... It wouldn't fit through the fork. And it wasn't very ah, ah. absorbent. It's okay, that's why I have my coat. And it wasn't very absorbent. No, not like this. This is nice. This, put, this is very... Um, Keeps the odor down. It's got lots of benefits for horses. As I said, just fair, fairly, you know. And also benefit for the people like Don who's working with it too, right? Yeah. And for the farm owner, because otherwise, if you have some, like I have kids coming in on the weekend to help sometimes. Right. And it's quick to clean. Whereas the other stuff, like years ago, we used straw. And that was heavy too. Wasn't it? That was labor intensive. On our farm, we had straw. I mean, it looked nice <laughs> when you put, you know, fresh straw in it. Oh, it's fluffy and stuff. You know, and I can see using it for brood mares and pollen. Right. But for, you know, general, you know, we're talking pleasure riding horses. Mm -hmm. Retired. Retired horses. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, so, the, so you, the young ones, the yearlings will make a mess of it. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, so you tried the cardboard. We tried and cardboard, we tried pellets. The corn time pellets. Oh, then corn They had corn corn pellets too, which sounded like it was a good idea. But that was really but dusty. It was really dusty and it attracted rats. We like never had rats and then we started using that and then there were just like rats everywhere. How did they know? I mean I didn't realize that rats had such a keen smell since I <laughs> You know, we still, you know, well, you do get rats. Every so many years, rats show up. I don't know where they come from, but they show up. But we don't like them. I don't blame you. Um, so, and then, all right, so were you researching? So was it just on the internet? Just Yeah. Yeah. And lots of the, there's one manufacturer from, I think his base is either New York or Connecticut. I'm not too sure, but... They're super expensive. Theirs are like twenty-five dollars a. Bale. And it's the same I, hemp bedding. I would I, imagine. I bet it. Okay. And so hopefully Marty can get his U.S. operation going. What did he tell you about 
the well, operation? Well, he said he was contracted with some hemp farmers. Did he tell you where? Where? I mean, what states? Oh, uh, I think, no, I don't remember. Okay. I don't think he told me where either. Not like I'm trying to beat him out on it. <laughs> no, I think he, we had talked because I'm part of so many groups and they were talking about uh, Montana. I think, and I even think Kentucky. It, it grows well in certain places, I think. Because I watch it come, Canada grows a lot of it. They never stopped. It's only in America. <laughs> I mean. And if some and people are funny, they come in and say, oh, do the horses get high from my look at the mud coming? Spare me. <laughs> so you found out, you, you bought it, purchased it from um, Old Dominion. Right. And it arrived. You started using it, and you've been using it for five years, Approximately more or less. Not. That long? I don't remember when yeah. it started. We've been using it for a while now, though. And what about your uh, other horse owners? Have they been in? Uh, I mean, have they been intrigued or or encouraged or? Everybody seems to like it. You know, simply because their horse's stalls are as smelly and yeah, it, it really that, absorbs that ammonia the, smell. You know, and it absorbs. You know, absorbs everything. So it's good. So have they started using it? One's the other owners? Well, here, we have other owners, but we supply it. But we you do supply everything. it. Okay, we so do everything. you have borders. We have a couple yeah, borders I'm, here. I don't know if, like, if these places sell it. Well, Eminem said they tried stocking it, but they couldn't, it was hard to sell because it was expensive. But I figured the lower labor cost, you know, I sort of figured... It doesn't make up for all of it, but lower labor costs, the composting that I don't have to have somebody pick up the manure. And that's like, what, if I get that manure pit emptied, it's like close to a thousand dollars. How often? Usually once or twice a year you would have to do it. But this composts really nicely. We use it for topsoil. Oh! You know, like now we have all that damage from the water lines going in. Okay. And, you know, Hilly's going to put topsoil on top of it and puts grass seed. And we have all that from the composted hemp. Isn't that's wonderful. I, 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 another many of its possible benefits. Um, yeah, because we, we can put it in the garden. Yeah, we put it in the garden. People come around and get manure for their gardens. They always come in the spring. They should come in the fall. This is the old the one on the right. The real dark one is the old one. Alright, so that ready for use. That can be used now. It's black. Oh, we'll use it for topsoil. No, but it turns black? It turns black. So this and like this will turn. See how it's sort of got light and dark and there's leaves mixed in and there's you know garden debris and you know whatever you that's the way it looks when it's... So that's the second pile, yeah. and then that's the final pile. That's amazing. And how long does that take? Roughly. Maybe six months. Maybe not even that long. Yeah, it depends how often we get to turn it. So this is the first pile. How do we get other farmers, how do we get the farmers in America start growing it again? You know, what do you think, what do you- Well, you have to have a, you have to offer something for them to, to sell to, you know. An end, an and end you, use. You have to have an end use for it. Like the bedding use is great, but, and lots of people won't pay that kind of money for, for bedding. No. And, you know, if it goes up much higher, I can't do it, you know. Well, that's why the um, USHBA and um, other organizations are trying yep. to um, encourage and, and lobby for it. Because, I mean, heavens, if the farmer received yep. a third of the money that when they're, it's sold, that would be a great um, cash crop for them, wouldn't you think? I mean, I would think so. 
And you don't mix anything else with it. Not unless we are short. There's some nice clean stuff in here. Good. But there's a clean smell. I mean, I don't smell any traces of urine or... No. I mean, anything gets dusty if you leave it in oh. there long enough, but eventually... This is great. No, it, I, it's, it's soft. Yeah, and it's very soft. That's what... Um, like the pellets, the pellets I don't like, you're supposed to wet, like wet them down. Right. And you know, that, that might be nice in the summer, but in the winter, you know. Right. Judy Mazuka, I have one friend that she thinks it's great. She uses it, Judy Mazuka. Where does she get hers? She doesn't, she looks, but it, usually she got it from me. Remember I got, got our oh, yeah. pellet that time? But um, I'm not gonna give her pellets now, we're selling her pellets now because we need it ourselves. Um, there's a shortage I hear too. Well. Um, we used to get a tractor trailer loader. Yeah, now we used we to get a whole tractor trailer loader. Now we got four pallets. Yeah, and that basically four pallets maybe a month. Yeah. 